It's time for the chicken raiser strategist. In this video, I will talk about the next big thing in marketing. It's already here, and it isn't technology, it's impact. I remember when people used to trust the brand because it was category leader. I also remember when people started looking for brands that were socially responsible. But now, consumers want much more than numbers or charity. They want impact. Research shows that consumers are 4.1 times more likely to trust a brand that lives up to a purpose. And there is a huge difference between being socially responsible and making an impact. Let me explain this with Lukas and my chicken. See Lukas. He's leaving his droppings on my grass. He knows that it's not nice to do it on my patio. So he's actually being socially responsible. Now my chicken poop is something else. And like Lucas droppings, which carry harmful bacteria and cannot be turned into compost for my veggies, chicken poop, once composted, turns into nutrients that are perfect for my raised beds. So, when it comes to pooping, Lucas is simply being socially responsible, while my chicken are making a positive impact. Guess who's the hero in this story? Same thing with brands. Some brands are simply socially responsible and focused on minimizing or offsetting the harm they do, while others are actually focused on having a positive impact. Look at not just the Cadbury ad. Not just the Cadbury ad was Cadbury's campaign in India to help independent shops during Covid lockdowns. Making the most of digital, the brand produced 7,000 versions of the ad, showcasing individual retailers across eight cities. The result? Cadbury had forecast 30% sales declined due to the pandemic and achieved 2% growth instead and also increased their share of sales in smaller retailers by 14%. Or look at Don't Buy This Jacket ad by Patagonia. While every brand was advertising Black Friday, Patagonia urged people to spend less for the benefit of the planet. And it's not a coincidence that Patagonia went up 31 spots in the Axios Harris reputation pool. Or look at Up and Do a fast-growing startup that helps brands inspire their staff not to just sit and talk, but to get up and get physically and socially active. In three years, they've helped companies and employees make an impact in 170 NGOs across 27 countries. Or the case of Wild AI, a fitness tracker specially designed to help women create fitness and nutrition plans according to life stages and menstrual cycles with 815% growth rate on website visits. None of this happened by chance or charity. 81% of people under the age of 30 believe brands must take a leading role in addressing global challenges. And the value of brands that are making an impact is going up. Kantar Consulting Research suggests that, unlike the 86% average growth rate, the value of brands with a high focus on impact increased 175% over the last 12 years. So, impact is the next big thing. And you either make an impact or you will be impacted by your competitors. In other words, chicken poop is so much better than dog poop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram with contents on marketing, communication, strategy and my tiny farm.